barricades with pink and orange tape stop anyone trying to go farther than the Joaquina Falls Bridge. Just gorgeous. Once you know, they don't get up here much, so it's just you know, once a lifetime opportunity to take advantage of it while I'm here. This trail is one of many ways to reach the top of Larch Mountain and over to Multnomah Falls. Ryan Branshaw is visiting from Kentucky. I was looking for, you know, what's the best hikes, beautiful. This pops up as the number one, you know, top five and everything I looked at. Get here and then realize it's closed, so kind of a bummer on the day. Just a quarter mile away, the Benson Bridge is as far as you'll get before this chain link fence and lock stop you. We were escorted past with the U.S. Forest Service to show just how bad the trails are. Obviously, this came from further up. I mean, even though that area was where it's, you know, falling, we do have to worry about other areas like this. About 100 yards up the trail, this rock slide completely covers the first switchback. Uh, keeping folks off the trail is, you know, our number one priority. Engineers and geologists were out yesterday inspecting the hillside. They know this isn't the end and that more are coming. It's basically just probably the freezing and thawing, uh, the amount of rain, uh, and of course the Eagle Creek fire that happened two years ago. It really unstabilized the slopes. These rocks and warning messages are just another reminder of the devastation the Eagle Creek fire did two years ago. You can definitely see, especially with the burnt trees and the runoff and the rocks falling, you can tell something's not right. The two trails closed by the landslides, well, the U.S. Forest Service says there's no timetable for when those will reopen. In the Gorge, Devin Haskins, KGW News.